So I used to have a sort of caught short clip of a car going by my house at night just to sort of set the tone like a TV series, you know, we're here and it's night. So I thought I'd go up. In today's episode, how are you doing to others and brother, welcome to stories of my life. So, today, sunshine. Ain't no sunshine when you're... Well, that's wrong. Doobie dub doobie, hoobie abba doobie dub abba boo. That's good morning, starshine, right? Starshine, not sunshine. Left the sunshine in. Oh, damn it. I forgot to look in the mirror before I started this. Damn it. Thursday, I'm off. We're not having any show tonight. Having a show tomorrow. But... An interesting thing has happened. So H&M is having a collaboration with Pantone. And if you don't know what Pantone is, they are the ones sort of who decided, they decide what colours are. Well, they're experts in colours anyway. So I thought I might, they dropped, so they're in the shops right now. I'd like that thing, but I can't afford it or haven't got a place for it. So candle, I think it's kind of cute. I detest these pink colours, uh, but maybe the greens, maybe these, I'm not sure. I'm getting on my bike and going into the city centre proper. Uh, I am curious about that tray. And maybe, yeah, I'll see, maybe one of those. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'll see when I get there. So hopefully, I really don't care if they're sold out, they're sold out, and if there's stuff left, Usually I'm really sort of, I need to find it now. I need to buy it. Isn't that disgusting, that colour? Um, but no, I don't care. I do, look at that. Oh, Yeah, maybe. Kind of fun. Oh, disgusting. Ladies and loincloths, let's get going. I saw a man who was strolling and eating a bulb of fennel like it was an apple. Yeah, fennel. That's a lot of anise seeds, isn't it? Or licorice vegetables. That must taste disgusting. Here we go, people. We go, H&M. H&M home. But this I wouldn't accept if you gave it to me. I detest this shade of pink and that. Maybe. Hmm. No. Maybe not. No. Okay, let's see what it smells like. Okay, so it smells nice enough. So, a tray and a candle it is. So, those pillars are kind of nice and there's this table in a disgusting colour. There's of course this. Hmm. Just across from Orleans department store, there's a new Stockholm City Food Hall opened. This looks good, doesn't it? Bun meat bun. I think yeah, nothing really new here. Maybe. Well, I haven't tried anything except Sukalo. What pizza? I never heard of that. And I thought, since the weather is so lovely, I check in on H and M Man. This is a lovely green colour. Hmm. And this. It's such a shame they put that on. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been. Oh. No, thank you. But it's just the right orange.
just had sun in my face but uh yeah So it's time for a really late lunch and I start with this enormous salad and a gigantic glass of water. Actually, a teeny glass of water. And also the, la the latest, the last of the kale pasta I made a week ago. Almost to the day, right? And here's some good news. It's 4.30 and it's yet not dark. Spring is coming, he said. Hello and welcome to What's Cooking Good Looking, an internet sensational show where I, Hannibal Lou Hannigan, a former astronaut, shows you um, how to cook foods. Today we're cooking creamy sweet potato curry with coconut milk and pea nuts. I am now boiling some rice noodles. I will then rinse them and put them in cold water while I'll start on the rest. The first thing we do is we fry a roughly chopped up onion. The rice noodles have been boiling for five minutes and now it's time to drain them and put them in cold water. Uh, you know, waiting for me to use them. Oh, to be clear, this is 300 grams of flat rice noodles. So you put some oil in a large pan and add chopped, <laughs> roughly chopped onion. Yeah, it says roughly. And when the onions are getting limpish, you add two or three or four grated garlic cloves and about a tablespoon of grated ginger. And then you add four or five tablespoons of red curry paste. Then you add eight deciliters of water and a bouillon cube. And when this has come to a boil, you add 10 halved mushrooms. And let's see, about three, I'll get back to you. And then you add 450 grams of sweet potatoes and one roughly chopped up bell pepper that looks like this. This is a special one. It's not. It's not regular bell pepper. This is something called spets paprika in Swedish. Uh, pointed peppers, I guess. I'm not sure. They sort of look like coned, cone-shaped peppers. Yeah. And then you let this boil or cook or whatever it does for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you add eight deciliters of coconut milk. Two tablespoons of light soy sauce. One two, two tablespoons of granulated sugar. That's one, that's two. And then two tablespoons of peanut butter. You can never have too much peanut butter, but I say this is the equivalent of two tablespoons, right? Get it off, get it off, oh good. And then you're supposed to add the juice of two limes, but I also add the zest which gives it a lovely tang. That's lime juice going in. And lastly, we add a bunch of finely chopped cilantro, stems and all. So it's time to serve and I have some, oh, I spilled some, but I've done some portion control. Also, some mashed peanuts are gonna go on top and I guess sink to the bottom. Here we go, people. First, a little taste test of the soup. Mmm, it's really mild. Yes, that must be the curry. 
Yeah, I can taste lime, curry, coconut. And I guess that's the sort of, oh, the peanut butter just disappeared. So, well, maybe that's the creaminess. Here we go, one sweet potato coming up. Oh, <laughs> it's just mashed by itself in my mouth. I didn't, mm, this is good. Okay, people, this, this was quite an easy recipe and, and maybe not something I would do again, this specific recipe, but I could totally, I mean, yeah, I would totally do it again. People, this wasn't really that good. The bad news is I have three more portions and I'm too cheap to just throw it out. I mean, it's edible. It's kind of, I don't know, maybe there should be some sort of, I don't know, hot pepper, something chilli, I don't know. It's a little bit too sweet. It's a little bit too, I don't know, milkshake -y. Too sweet, absolutely, and a little bit, maybe the zest of the lime was too much. I'm not sure, damn it. So, not looking forward to eating this this weekend at work, but hopefully I will be tremendously hungry and just, you know, wolf it all down. So I used to have a sort of caught short clip of a car going by my house at night just to sort of set the tone like a TV series, you know, we're here and it's night. So I thought I'd go out and wait for a car to come here and then film it just to have it. Fun, huh? And it also gives me a chance to wear my vintage or anyway, second hand Kenso H&M collaboration Parker outside for the first time. So before going out, I remember to put the light on, to turn the light on in the kitchen. So, I mean, because I am supposed to be at home when you see this apartment from outside, right? Here I am outside the building, soon crossing the street. Oh damn, I see a car coming, but it's too early, too early, damn it. Okay, so I think this is a nice sort of view. This is nice, right? Okay, just wait for a car. I think I got it. Maybe from another angle? So that's three clips. This is gonna be good. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.